So I'll uh, I'll tell you something else as I fix my camera a bit that I've been thinking about. And this is like a part two to the video that I just did. Um, is is perfection in work? That's something else I've been thinking about recently. Now I made a video on this uh, already. I made a video like maybe a few months ago or maybe a year ago. Um, I can link that wherever. I made a video about perfection and how that is an, an unreachable, unattainable goal, you know? I'm not going to say all of that again. I'm going to, this is more of like an update to that video uh, because your thoughts, your beliefs, and your opinions on things change over time. Mine haven't changed, they've just been enhanced, I think. I've had more time to think about this. As someone who just graduated college, I mean, that was a lot of work obviously. And you see how this is a part two to the last video. I'm still kind of talking about work because uh, this is perfection in the context of work or, or any, not not just school work, but any projects that we're doing, you know. So whether it was school projects or my YouTube channel, you know, I learned, regardless of what it is, I learned a good lesson about uh, reaching for perfection through my college studies, you know, the past four years that I've been in college. Um, and a lot of that time was me trying to attain perfection in my work. Um, I, like in my essays, for example, in the major that I was in, uh, write, it was a writing intensive major. So, you know, writing a lot of essays, you got to spell check them, uh, check the formatting and read them thoroughly, of course, to make sure that they make sense. That's something that not all students do, which I found surprising. Or maybe not that surprising, to be honest. And I thought that I had to write perfect essays and that they were always going to be perfect. And that's, I mean, that's not the case. I didn't write perfect essays. Um, and I realized that you can't. And essays is just, a, it's just an example. You know, you can broaden that out to anything you're working on in life. So I realized, I, you know, I'm not going to go for perfect. I mean, you don't want to be a perfectionist in life because then you spend so much time uh, stuck on the minute details of everything that you're doing, right? And that can take so much time away from other things that you could be devoting your time to and other things that you could be doing quality work on. And that's what I changed my mindset to. I It took me a while to learn this through college. I eventually did, though. And the lesson was... The goal to reach for the North Star, if you want to say, is not perfection, it's quality, right? It's high quality work. It is doing the best that you can every time you do anything at all, anything. Not just sitting down and working on something, but literally anything you do, you do it to the best of your ability. That is an attainable goal, right? You ask the question, how do you measure that? I think it's you measure it by how you're feeling inside. And that guides you as you're writing the essay or you're going for a run, or working out at the gym, writing a book. I use that example of writing a book a lot because I enjoy writing. <laughs> I use that example a lot in this channel. I realize that. Um, whatever, you know, you're in culinary school and you're learning different recipes, you know, like and you're trying to master a certain recipe. Whatever you're doing. This is not just apply to students. Um, that's just been on my mind because I'm a recent graduate. Whatever you're doing, you do it to the best of your ability. You can tell yourself, this is something I tell myself, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it well. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it well. It's going to be high quality work. And that's what I would tell myself in the later, my later parts of college when I was writing these essays, which is really the bulk of what I was doing. I think I wrote more essays in college than I did, you know, take tests um, because of my writing intensive major, like I said. And uh, I realized that, yeah, perfection was not attainable. I switched it to quality work instead. So for the essays, read it through to make sure it makes sense, run it through uh, a spell check program, um, because you can't just trust your own eyes, you know, to make sure everything makes sense and is spelled correctly and flows and all of that. Check the formatting. If it all looks good, I send it in and I don't spend any more time thinking about it. And I certainly didn't spend any more time obsessing over every little detail 
taking like an, an hour on a one paragraph of the essay, you know, or even just 30 minutes even is a long time to spend doing that. Uh, that's kind of what I used to do, obsessing over all the minute details. And that takes time away from other things, whether it's other homework and studying you do if you're a student or whatever. If you're an entrepreneur, this certain portion of this project, if you obsess over it for so long, it detracts, you know, it takes time away from other things you could be devoting time to, other maybe as important or even more important things, but you can't get to that because you're obsessing over these minute details. So quality is what we should be uh, aiming for instead, not perfection. And I've said this in my last video. Now, I'm, as I said, I'm flipping this into the context of work, which, as I said, is a continuation of my last video. And guys, if you haven't watched that yet, you should go check out the my previous video, which will be, have been uploaded before this one. This is like a part two, as I said. So that's what we should be aiming for, doing our best. And I know we've you've heard that before. That's kind of a like a cheesy cliche, you know, do your best and stuff, but it's more, it's quality, it's high quality work. Everything you turn in and submit as a student, you know, every project you finish as an entrepreneur or in your job, whatever you're doing. Again, this is not just apply to students. Whatever you do in life, it's high quality work. Everything, every single thing you do, big and small, all around. You tell yourself, if I'm, I'm sitting down, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it well. And that is the mindset you put yourself in. Get perfection out of there. No, don't make perfection your North Star anymore. Make it high quality work that you can be proud of. That's how you, that, that's how I can put that into words. I mentioned that a few minutes ago because I was saying how, how do you, someone could ask me, how do you measure that, Jake? It's pride. It's, do you feel proud of that, of the work you just did? If you don't, go back to the drawing board and keep working on it. But we're not, it's not measuring it through perfection because you can't, because perfection doesn't exist. You work until you hit a point where you are proud of what you do. You do not stop until you are proud of what you're done. Not obsessing. You're not going to the other, the extreme. You're not spilling over into pursuing perfection. But you measure it by if you feel pride in your work. That's what it is. The source of quality work is taking pride in your work. And that's what you do. Take pride in your work and everything, uh, everything that you do does not just apply to students. And uh, I think that's, I think it's much more helpful. It's been more helpful for me. And like I said, took me a while to learn this. Kind of painful too, you know, but not obsessing over the, de you know, the minute details, getting things done and moving on and doing good work somewhere else. That's a much better way to live life, really. At the very least, though, for our context, to approach work. I mean, we're going to be working our whole lives. We may as well figure out these systems now uh, that are better than maybe some faulty ones that we've learned. Different messages and lessons and ideas we've learned from people that don't work, you know, or that don't work for everyone. So that's what I would recommend. Don't be reaching for perfection. Reach for quality work that you're proud of. And that's what you should be doing. Telling yourself, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it well. And I'm gonna produce high quality work, right? So I hope that helped guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.